Hey there, it's After Comics. This time we're looking at the Mighty Marvel Western series, which ran for 47 issues from October 1968 until September of 1976, celebrating the bicentennial. Squarebound issues 1 through 16, which was a real treat, and hard to find, too, um, in terms of really high grade. So the collection I'm showing you today is not really high grade. Some of the books are nice. Other books are mid-grade, and like most of my collection, uh, they're low-grade as well. So a mixed bag here. Uh, certainly nothing that I would consider uh, certifying. But then again, there's nothing in my collection that I would consider certifying, unless I decided to sell them, which at this time I'm, I'm not planning on doing that. This video is dedicated um, to Captain Strange Life in the Chicago area. And uh, Captain Strange Life is, to me, the guy that started it all um, on YouTube for collectors, especially comic book collectors. Although Captain Strange Life, uh, he dabbles in everything from pulps to magazines to comics to old game boards and uh, toys and, and everything. But he's, he's a real classic, and uh, I think he's been doing videos for... Uh, since just about the beginning of YouTube, or if not the beginning of YouTube, then pretty doggone early. He's got a great sense of humor, always opens his show with uh, something funny, and uh, I, really, uh, I really think he does a great job. And he's kind of ageless, too, because I've noticed in all the years he's done YouTube, the guy hasn't aged one bit. So uh, 20 years from now, if he still looks the same, uh, I'm going to be a little suspicious. But anyway... Uh, of course, Captain Strange Life. This video is for you. So we got the uh, final square bound of the series, March of 1972, and um, by golly, this started off the uh, the picture frame boxes or the box art, uh, whatever you want to call it, that Marvel did. Uh, generally speaking, from December of 1971 until uh, December of 1972. Love it. I don't know why. That just I guess it reminds me of uh, the first couple of years that I was collecting comics, and uh, I just love the box art. Some of the artwork, the early issues, and by the way, these are all reprints. A lot of them are reprinting early issues of Rawhide Kid, Kid Cult Outlaw, and Two Gun Kid. Later on in the series, and we'll get to that, it's all about the Rawhide Kid. Some of the series uh, issues toward the end are all Gil Kane covers. Most are new. Now, there are reprinted covers. Most are new, um, especially the Gil Kane covers later on. I was talking about the artwork of Jack Davis earlier, most notably for his work on EC Comics, but he did a lot of westerns too, and he did uh, several issues of The Rawhide Kid, and um, that's just that just... Uh, you could just look at the artwork, even on the splash page, and say, yeah, that's Jack Davis. But Jack Davis didn't do all of the artwork. Early on, of course, it was none other than our friend Jack Kirby as well. Now, the interesting thing about this series, I'm going to make this a short video, is that some of these issues actually reprinted um, The Rawhide Kid before he was turned around by uh, um, Jack Kirby with issue 17. Issue 17 that came out in 1960 uh, they recreated the origin and the whole look of the Rawhide Kid. But some of these issues show what he looks like earlier. And what they had to do was they had to go back and they had to um, repaint, uh, repaint or recolor uh, the costume, or not the costume, but the outfit to make it look like uh, what he was looking like now as opposed to what he looked like in the mid-50s. Some of these issues are hard to find. Does it make them valuable? You know, to me, some of my favorite comics are not the most valuable comics, but they're books that took me years to assemble a set, a series such as this. Most of this was assembled pre-internet, but some of the issues that I could never find, I finally found on eBay. Some of them through, uh, um, I was going to say Lone Star Comics, because they used to mail order, but they're, they're not Lone Star Comics, they're my comic shop. Dot com. Here we go with some of the great Gil Kane covers. Gil Kane was just a master artist. He really was. I said in an earlier video that Jack Kirby and Steve Ditko were the two artists as a kid that I identified. Gil Kane was right behind him. 
Love some of these Gilcane covers. Great series to own, still affordable. Of course, it's reprints, but it's a. If you're a cover collector, and there's a lot of cover collectors out there, here comes my all time favorite Gilcane cover. Are you ready? All time favorite. Just look at the detailed the expression of the water pouring through his hands. Just, just spectacular. And you've been looking at the Mighty Marvel Western, issues 1 through 46. This is After Comics. Thank you, Captain Strangelife.